material. I know we're running just a smidge behind, but we'll compress things for time so you won't miss out on anything. We're going to start at the very beginning of the list, the branches of the abdominal aorta. We kind of preface this by saying that there are three sets of circulation in the abdomen. You have the branches of the abdominal aorta, then you have the sub-branches of those, then you have the venous system of the abdomen, and lastly you have the portal system that drains the mesentery. So we're going to start with the branches of the abdominal aorta. So we have the left and right phrenic arteries. They supply the diaphragm. Then we're making our way down to the left and right renal arteries. Then we're going to add in the celiac trunk. We're going to come back to celiac trunk because the celiac trunk has multiple branches. But we're going to come back and cover that separately in just a few minutes. Then we're going to make our way down to the superior mesenteric artery and the inferior mesenteric artery. Those supply There we go. Those supply the mesentery or the GI tract. Then we're going to come down and we're going to look at our, in this case would be testicular arteries because this is male, but you can refer to them as gonadal arteries if you'd like. We have the left and right testicular arteries. Then we're going to make our way back over to some arteries that are special concern to chiropractors, the lumbar arteries. Those supply the bones of the um, lumbar spine as well as the uh, lower portion of the spinal cord, cotoquinia, and the uh, meninges. Then lastly, down here at the very bottom, The abdominal aorta splits and gives us the common iliac arteries. So we're going to pull that over there, kind of out of the way. And then the common iliac arteries, this will be more for next week's material, but just to kind of give you a point of reference, the common iliac arteries split into internal and external iliac arteries on both the left and the right side. 